Right, let's get you set up with Publa, my favorite social media marketing tool. First things first though, we need to check a few things with your social media accounts. Now chances are you're wanting to connect up Facebook and Instagram, and there's a couple of things we need to check before we get started with Publa. So let's head on over to Instagram. The first thing we want to make sure is that your account is a professional account, so we can't connect up personal accounts with Publa. So the easiest way to check that is to log in to your Instagram account, click on your profile, click on edit profile at the top here. And if you scroll down on the uh, sort of in the middle towards the left there, you'll see at the bottom switch to personal account. So that tells me I'm using a professional account. If it says switch to professional account, click on it and just follow the steps to work your way through. Now the other thing we need to do is connect up your Instagram and your Facebook page. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this depending on whether you have the new pages um, experience with Facebook or if you're on an old classic page. Let me show the new show you the new pages experience first because that's the more common one at the moment. So what you'll do is you will head to your page, make sure up in the top right hand corner here, make sure you have switched over to your pages profile so we need to be acting as your page to do this and then we're going to click on manage which has the little tools there and then on the left you'll see towards the bottom there is linked accounts so when we click on that we can see there that we're connected up with the Instagram account if it doesn't look like this just follow the steps to connect it up you'll need your Instagram login details there now if you're on the old classic page I'm going to head over to this one here and what we're going to do I'm just going to refresh this and switch over okay so you're going to head to your page just like normal looks a bit like nope that's not it there let's head back a step looks like this here now on the left we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to click on settings and then we're going to look for Instagram so Instagram on the left there and see, we can see here that this uh, is not connected to an Instagram account so let's get that done so we'll click on connect account it's saying this is what's going to happen it's going to connect to the two so we want to select connect uh, we can leave that toggled on so basically that means that all of our messages can go into one central inbox and then we log in so you'll obviously need to know your Instagram login details I'm going to pop those in now and I'm going to click on save information and just like that we are connected so a couple of things there just to review. We need to have our Instagram and our Facebook page connected. We also need to be using a professional Instagram account. I'm just gonna click on review connection here and confirm and confirm and confirm. And we'll do it one more time. Great, now that looks better. Now let's head over to Publa and sign up for our new account. So we're going to start by signing up for free. If you're interested in the plans and pricing, obviously head to that page there. Under the free account, we can connect up three different social media profiles. So I'm going to connect up my Facebook page, my LinkedIn company page, and my Instagram account. So let's get started by clicking sign up for free. Then we're going to go ahead and pop our email address in there. Once we've done that, it will send an email to our email address just to check we have access to that. And it will have a verification code in there. So we just have to go ahead into our emails and confirm that verification code. So I click on the verification link. Cool. So I'm going to head over to my emails. I'll be back in a second. OK, so I've verified my email. I'm going to finish setting up my account. There's a few questions that we need to answer. So what is your role? How did you find out about Publa and how do you intend to use it? 
and then we create our workspace. So workspace is like a group. It's a group of uh, social media accounts. So if you have multiple business units and you want to have separate groups, um, it is um, usually used for like reporting and it helps you with scheduling some content as well. Um, also, if you're a social media manager or a digital marketer who manages accounts for other people, that might be useful for you. For me, though, I'm just going to set up the one workspace, select my industry and continue. There we go. So our account set up. The first thing we need to do is start connecting up our social media profiles. So you can see all the different profiles that you can connect up. Remember, we get three profiles as part of that free plan. So I'm going to start with Facebook. So I'm going to click on that one there. Now, I'm going to go with a Facebook page. Um, it's really cool that you can actually, if you have your own Facebook group, if you're an administrator or you own a Facebook group, you can also schedule content and manage um, the group from Publa, which is really cool. But we're going to stick with page. And remember, with our page, we only have one login. Now, you do not have a separate business login. You log in as yourself, and because you're an administrator on your page, then Publa will get access that way. So what we need to do is click on Edit Settings. We need to check that we have the right pages. So these are all of the pages that I am an administrator on or I have admin, administrator access to. So I want to connect up this one here, which is the Social Smarty Show. I'm going to click on Next. We leave all of these toggles turned on and then we click on Done. And then OK. And that is our first account connected. Oh, sorry, we need to connect, click the connect button. And there is our first account connected. So now what we can do is run through our second account. So this one, I'm going to do Instagram. Now we know it's a business account because we've already done that conversion there. We're going to hit continue. And see how it's taken us back to Facebook. So because we have linked up our Facebook and our Instagram, we actually give access through Facebook. So again, we're going to click on Edit Settings. We're going to select the right Instagram account and hit Next. Uh, we're going to leave it as is and Next. So that's Facebook Pages. We leave all of these toggles on and click Done. And then we click OK. So now we have connected up Facebook and Instagram. So I'll just connect there and continue and lastly i'm going to do linkedin obviously you could do tiktok pinterest youtube whatever um google your google business profile that could be a good one but i'm going to select linkedin now we have the option of connecting our personal profile or our company page now entirely up to you i always find the power in linkedin is actually in the personal profile but if you have a company and you want to manage uh, your company page and then have your employees or your team sharing out from there that's a really good way to run it so i'm going to click on page i'm going to pop in my login details for linkedin public is asking for permission so we're going to say allow down the bottom here I'm going to make sure we connect to the right page. So I obviously have access to a lot of different company pages. We're going to connect up that one. Cool. And oh, let's hide that and we'll click continue. Awesome. So I have my three accounts. We can see the little blue ticks at the top there. I'm going to click continue. So Publit is now setting up my workspace. And there we have it. So we're all set up and we're ready to go. Now let me take you on a little bit of a tour of what Publa can do. So on the left hand side here, we have lots of different options, but some of them are paid features. So because we're using the uh, free version of Publa, we won't have access to RSS feeds, which is where we can pull through feeds of information to help us generate content. Uh, the content section here, so this helps us find trending content, you know, based on different parameters and also analytics or reporting. So the free version doesn't have access to these. But what we're going to do is head back to posts here. Sorry, we're going to head back to create. Now, there's a couple of different ways that we can create content. And the way I like to do it is I first ask myself, is this content evergreen? 
By that I mean, is this something I could post again in 90 days, you know, in three months time? Is it something that's going to, um, you know, is it something timely that needs to be posted now and it won't make sense later on? Or could I use this again? So if it is evergreen content, something that I could use again, what I'll do is I'll click on drag and drop media. And then I can either get my um, design from Google Drive or Dropbox, or I can put in a URL here, or I can click on Canva or Vista Create and create right here within Publer. But what I'm going to do is down the bottom, I'm going to select or drag and drop media, and I'm going to upload an image that is on my computer. So I'm uploading this image now. And the next thing I do, I'm going to do is write my caption. So let's just pop something in there. OK, and what I'm going to do now, because I want to have the ability to use this post again, is I'm going to save it as a draft. So we click on draft and it pushes it through to our draft. So now when I click on posts on the left hand side, if I come up here to my draft posts, I have that sitting there. Now, each time I use that, maybe every 90 days, I'm going to click on use and I'm going to select don't delete. And then I can tweak it, you know, obviously, and get it ready to send out to post. Now, the other way we can do it, let me just uh, delete that. So the other way we can do it is select our social media channels first. So on the left, we have our Facebook page, our Instagram and our LinkedIn. I'm going to click on all three and create one post, which is going to go out to all three platforms. So again, I'm going to click to drag and drop media. This time I'm going to use my library because I've already uploaded that image and it saves it in the library for me. So I'm going to select that image there. And then I'm going to pop in my uh, my caption. Um, OK, so we have this ready to publish. Obviously, we'd write a little bit more than that, but we have it ready to publish on Facebook, Instagram and on LinkedIn. Now, on the left hand side here, we can scroll down and we can see those previews so we can see what it's going to look like. Looks pretty good. The only thing there is that when we publish to Instagram, we know that that link is not going to be clickable. So instead of publishing it like that, I'm going to click on, see this little sign post here? What happens when I click that is it splits out the posts into three separate posts. So now I can click on the Instagram one. I can delete the link that won't be clickable and I will say sign up via the link in my bio. The other thing I'm going to do for Instagram is add in some hashtags. So we do have a hashtag tool here. So if I click on hashtags, we can search for hashtags in here. So I might search for hashtag social smarty. That probably won't pop up. Actually, let's do hashtag social media. Oops. OK, so it's giving me some related hashtags. Let's go this one here. The other thing we can do, of course, is just type them in. Or you might even have a Word document or another document where you're copying and pasting them. So that's how we tweak the posts so that they look like they are sort of native to each of the platforms. So it's still saving you time because you're creating one post that's going out to all three. Um, but you're not having to, um, you know, just have a blanket post you can push out. So the next thing we do is we click on schedule. So I'm going to click schedule. I'm going to send this one out next week at let's do 7.47 in the morning. So I'm going to click on schedule. That's going to disappear. And now when I go into my posts, I can see my draft is still there, but I also have under scheduled my posts sitting there. So we have Facebook. Instagram and LinkedIn. Now, if we click on the calendar on the left, this gives us a nice view. We've got a couple of options here. This is the week view. On the right here, I'm going to click on the month view. And I can see if I scroll down, next month I've got these posts planned. Now, if I wanted to change the day, I literally can just drag and let's drop it to the following day. 
drag it and drop it and that's going to change the day there obviously if I need to make any adjustments I can click on it and edit it if I decide I want to delete it I've got delete there or I might want to publish it you know immediately so that's that one there so it's a really really easy system to use um, I think it is for a free account I think it gives you everything you need to really get started on social media I do wanted to show you one little thing that the paid version op, uh, offers um, so we'll dive over to my other account which is a paid account and I just want to show you this new tool that's just been released on Publa so this is my other Publa account this is my paid account and there's a new feature that uh, Publa has uh, released called AI assist so when we're creating our posts we can actually click on AI assist and we can give it a prompt so I've written here write a post for Instagram promoting a free social media content planner include 10 hashtags I click on generate and it spits out a post for me so what it came up with was uh, oh here's a new one do you struggle with planning content for your social media accounts check out our free social media content planner to help you stay organized and on top of your social media game and it's given me 10 hashtags there so I can click on add to post we might want to just format that a little bit add in some white space so it's easier to read move our hashtags down a wee bit and then of course we want to add in our media so I'm going to upload that image and that post is almost ready to go so let's click on an account there on the left that looks better okay so now we see what our preview looks like there so AI assist is a paid feature it's really cool um, I recommend tweaking whatever it spits out for you so that it sounds more like you more like your tone of voice and more like your business um, and obviously some spelling I'm in New Zealand we do not spell organized with a Z um, but have a play around with it if you choose to upgrade to the paid plan and let me know if you have any questions mm -hmm.